uh, I'm Paul Kirum. I'm Paul Kirum. Atuni jeli lobunge la muna inchi Kenya as a whole. <laughs> oh, speaking from Bugula Munichi Jakaranda, that's where I emanated from. And I'm saying this Kenyans, Kenyans are suffering. The economy is completely destitute because of the failed government of William Samoy Ruto. And therefore, Horebura Molodinga and Asimio Fraternity, led by Horebura Ela Molodinga, tomorrow. We shall have mass peaceful demonstration and picketing. Mass peaceful demonstration and picketing within the Nairobi town, within the CBD. We are asking all Kenyans, we are pleading to our enthusiastic, we shall continue to ratchet our exuberant supporters to come out in large number, to come out in swing, in order to eject, or rather to or actually or oppose the government of William Samoe Ruto. Peaceful demonstration picketing is allowed within our constitution. Sisi wa Kenya musiogope, katiba inamuruzu nyinyi muende kwa mandamano. Even before the House of Commons in the United Kingdom, there's peaceful demonstration picketing. Even before the House of Congress, in the South America, there's peaceful revolution picketing. And therefore, we are asking all Kenyans to come out tomorrow in large numbers to gather within town, within a little town CBD, to come out in large number to agitate, to agitate for our rights and freedoms. Because this government is infringing the people of Kenya. This government is infringing the Kenyan citizens. We are tired of this government. The government has increased the cost of living standards. The, the government has scrapped off the subsidies. The government has increased the fee, including the university and the varsities, even primary schools, even secondary schools. So we are coming out in large number. We shall ratchet our enthusiastic supporters to come out in large number tomorrow and eject the government of William Samuel Ruto. Sasa mimi nasema hivi kwa Kiswahili. Kesho sisi wote kama wa Kenya, hii serikali ya Kenya inatu, hii serikali ya Ruto inatunyanyasa. Na tumechoka na serikali ya Ruto. We cannot bear it anymore. William Samoei Ruto is a political charlatan. William Samoei Ruto is a political quack who has failed to execute what exactly concerns itself states. What the constitution itself stipulates, and therefore, to the talker in the Kesho, Mimi Nasema Jakaranda Kesho, to Kenny Inge, to the end of town, and I come to the end so that we can actually eject root out of the state house. Revolution is real, it has happened in so many countries, and I will give a mere precedent. It happened in French, or rather France, in 1789 and it went successfully. It happened in Yugoslavia and it went successfully. It happened in Tunisia and it went successfully. It happened in Algeria and it went successfully. Why not Kenya? Kenya is the next, Kenya is the next patient in this para para paralysis. So, Sisi kama wa Kenya, mimi naomba ya kwamba, let us tomorrow come out in large number. That's why Paul Kirum, the Attorney General, Bungila Mulainji in the nation, is ratcheting the enthusiastic supporters to come out in swing and eject them some way root. I'm saying this. <laughs> we can neither be cajoled nor be winged by a skewed government, by the corrupt regime, people who are implemented by the by, 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 by the surrogates of IBC scandals. Because the elections in Kenya have been later to a profusion of scandalous and fraudulent. And therefore, we cannot entertain it anymore. We shall be there tomorrow as we seek and as we protect the electoral justices. We shall love Raila Mulodinga tomorrow. And we shall march the state house. Thank you, honorable members.
Sana. Wana media. Kesho tutakutana Jakaranda na tutaenda Tao. Na sio peace yenye huyu jamaa amesema. Sasa hii imepita sasa hii sio peace. Manda mwenye tunafanya sasa hii sio mambo ya atatafanya mambo ya peace. No. Sasa hii sio peace. Kama ni mbaya ni mbaya. Hakuna sasa hii hakuna cha peace. Watu wako njaa. Unatuambia tufanya maandamano ya peace. Hakuna mambo ya peace. Peace. Baba tupe tia gas. Tunamwogea maji. Peace gani? Kama ni mbaya ni mbaya. Sasa hii kuna maandamano ya peace. Na tunaenda tao. Na baba. Tunaenda tao. Na si Raila Moyo Odinga amepanga ni sisi Raila Ochili tunapanga. Sasa hii tutaki Raila choke. Raila kae kando. Baba apumzike. Tu wote William Samuel Ruto tu bila eh. Properly. baba tuachie Ruto. Kesho tunaenda maandamano. <laughs> tunaenda maandamano. <laughs> Kama wewe ni mtu wa duka funga duka yako. <laughs> hey, nitarudia. Sio ati tutaiba lakini kama wewe ni mtu wa duka ufunge duka yako. Juu ukifungua utatuambia kwa nini tuko maandamano na wewe umefungua duka. Hatutaiba <laughs> lakini kama umefungua duka utatuambia kwa nini sisi tuko maandamano na wewe umefungua duka. <laughs> so kesho tunaenda tao. Tutaenda tutoe Eric Umondi. Mwenye anatetea na yeye chini anasikwa. Na sisi wa Kenya tumechoka. Na tuongoje hiyo siku, siku saba zimeziise. Atuongoje siku saba. Hiki tunaenda kesho. Tutaanza kesho. Tutaenda tao. Na tulisema tutaenda mara tatu. Kesho tutaenda kuangalia barabara. Yenye tutaingia na state house. <laughs> kesho kutwa. Tutaenda kuangalia barabara. Yenye tunaingia na state house. Imefika wakati tutoke nje kama raia na tupiganie aki yetu ruta hii ya raila ndio ndio tunangoja na na amu kubwa na ndio no, tunaweka rujire iko tayari iko naye hapa kwa mvuko Ruto ka kama unajua siku hiko iko imebaki kidogo na niliona Raila bila aliongea jana usiku nikapigiwa simu niende niangalie Raila kwa K KTM nikaangalia nikatafuta paka nikapata ili ili nilifurahi sana ra, na, na Raila Amolo Odinga hii ndio mwaka ambao unachukua utawala wa Kenya hata rudwa sipendi hata rudwa akatae na uta, utachukua sisi wa, wana Kenya tumechoka ulisema ulisema iko iko kitu kwa kwa mutoni ambao ambao anakatasa wewe kupita pande ile na alikuwa Ruto hiyo mamba alikuwa ni Ruto sasa tumeona tunataka kupitisha wewe na nguvu ile Ruto hajawahi kuona hapa Kenya Santeni William Somoi Ruto is a very very smart guy number one sawa number one kama Raila Amolo Odinga angesikuwa suppose kuwa the fifth president Bona alipikwa 10 nil last year alikuwa wapi 7 million people they are not fools na hii mambo ya mheshimiwa rais Ruto unaambiwa eti maandamano mambo kidogo kidogo eti unatolewa yani kuna watu wanaota mchana eti uketi kwa kiti utolewe mheshimiwa rais waandamane walete nani unless Yesu arudi duniani William Samoe Ruto hakuna vile atatoka mufanye kenye mtafanya maandamano hatuogopi tumesoea mleta uhuru uhuru Kenya ta kiserani mkaleta anshek 
Mulata Moi Kiserani, Mgaleta Manenoenu, he Serakali ni William Samoy Arab Ruto. Hata mkifanya chochote. Hata mkisa manini. Number 2 kuna, kuna swali. Sawa sawa. Mzee, uko na swali mzee? Oda oda. Uliza uliza uliza. Rais rais rais. Yaani mjinga. Oda oda oda. Mzee uko na swali? Uliza swali? Nauliza. Ile swali nauliza. Haya. Niko na swali kidogo kwa huyu ndo rafiki yangu. Sawa sawa. Haya. Nauliza wewe. Hapa <laughs> hapa bila unaona hapa. Mm. Hawa yote ni waraila. Wewe yeah. ni mtu mmoja. Sawa sawa. Sasa wewe ndio utakataza sisi kutoa ruto. Yeye ni swali, yeye ni swali ndogo sana, hiyo ni swali ndogo sana. Nitawasuia na hata kuna kitu mtafanya. Kama mlishindwa kumshinda yeye kwa elections, mkapeleka Petty Griffiths Cotini na hakuna mmoja hata ilipitishwa. Mtaza mtafanya nini? William Samoy Ruto we afanya kazi yako watu wapike kelele hiyo ni hata chura ndoka hisa kasuya ndofu kunywa maji wao oh, wanapika kelele ya kawaida so wewe oh, unaelewa msee Raila Odinga kazi yake ni maandamano waseni kuketi kwa barabara lakini maisha lazima iende mbele wafanye kenye watafanya waongee fila wataongea Kenya hii hata kama unasema tu wajinga wameisha yes wameisha wajinga tu ndio wamebaki na maandamano wajinga tu ndio wamebaki na maandamano hata muki rais matusi kutusi rais muendelee tu kumtusi lakini ata rule Kenya for 10 good years either will you like it or not William Samoe Ruto 10 years Sika Umosi Jakababa 1 hour Leo imebaki siku 7 Tunaenda state house Na tumejipanga Tunaenda state house Hiyo jinga ni ruto nafanya hii Kenya Hii Kenya siyo sogoi Leo tu Eric Kumuna alikuwa na gawa honga stage Makarao ni wakona njaa kusina raia <laughs> Makarao wakona njaa kusina raia <laughs> Ba, makarao wanachukua unga ya raia makarao polisi ya Kenya unga ya raia <laughs> na mimi kitu najua kama tuenda maandamano hizi wiki, wiki moja imebaki nimejua maandamano ya kwanza itakuwa ya polisi waende njoo wako njaa polisi wako njaa eric mundi ameleta unga wanamusika na mtu ameleta unga isaidie raia na ningependa kuambia William Samoe Ruto to make prayer two hours. To make prayer two hours. Watch Eric Komondi ama tuende mandamano. Mandamano ya usiku si ya mchana. Ndiyo ni ujinga hii unatufanya. Two hours. Watch Eric Komondi ama tuende mandamano ya usiku. So sisi kama wana Kenya tumechoka na serikali walia msameru. Kasi yake ni kutuambia ati wanaume wawane. Na mimi nataka kuona. William Samoe Ruto kama akona mimba nataka kuona kasagwa kama akona mimba wenye wanabeba mimba mimi sitaki kujua sitaki kujua swali sema tu waone swali sema watu waone nataka kuona mimba ya William Samoe Ruto nataka kuona mimba ya kasagwa na kitu najua kasagwa atapea Ruto mimba haraka kulingana venye mimi namjua Tumechoka na hii serikali. Tumechoka na hii serikali. Ana. Naongea one hour. Tumechoka na hii serikali. Eric Mune anasaidia raia wanamusika. Imebaki wiki moja tunaenda state house ruto. Hiyo jinga inatufanyia hiyo jinga hii Kenya sio sogoi. Na mimi kuna watu wanne nataka kuona mimba yao. Mtu ya kwanza mimba ya William Samoe Ruto. Mimba ya pili gasawa sijui Ruto ni atapea gasawa mimba sijui gasawa ni atapea Ruto mimba. 
Na tujua tazana nini? Hatutaka kujua. Swa, swa, walisema ati tu, tu, wanaume wa wane. Eh, sasa wamekubali wanaoana. <laughs> Ojinga hii Kenya. Na Ruto ulituambia wajinga wa, wa wameusa wameisha Kenya. Na bado unatuangalaza ujinga hizo. Baba na Kenya hii Ruto hii Kenya sio yako. Hii Kenya sio yako. Waje kutuona kama wajinga bwana. Kenya wajinga waliisha. Yaani ndio gani watu wa Uganda? Hawa tu mseve ndio naweza langanya sio sisi wa Kenya. Wa Kenya tumekomaa akili. Kukuja watu ambao tuoana semo ni William Samuel Ruto. Hata una adabu. Na mimi nimeimba ni mwezi tisa Nataka kuona hizi mwezi tisa Ruto ameshika mimba na zai mtoto. Tumechoka. Jana Raila venye Raila alikuwa anaongea. Raila anasema kama alisina moyi. Sembuse sembuse Ruto. Ruto ni nani Kenya hii? Ruto ni nani? Kama mimi omos naweza fanya ruta silale. Je, Raila Mulu Dinga? Raila, Raila Mulu Dinga. Mimi mwenyewe, mimi mwenyewe. Tusimame na William Samuel Ruto. Tuanze kupiga kura. Tuanze kupiga siasa. Na tuogopi? Atuogopi? Ju kila mtu ako na haki yake. Ni kuna haki ya kuongea hapa. Na tutaenda maandamano, tutaenda maandamano Ruto. Na tunakutoa state house. Tumechoka na hii serikali. Yenye mtu anaongea tu kitamefikiria. Baka kuome na hizo meno zake sijui nataka watu wako hizo. Siku za uwezi watch uwezi watch TV. Mimi jana ni watch TV juu Raila alikuwa jana Raila ndiye alikuwa anaongea ni watch TV. Sasa huko ana kwa TV, meno ya gasagwa kwa TV. Meno ya Kome kwa TV. Meno za Ruto kwa TV. Si watch watch tu. Tuwezi kuwa na amani. Tuwezi kuwa na amani juu ya mtu mmoja. William Samuel Ruto. 99% ataki William Samuel Ruto. So Ruto mbaki na sogoi peke yake. Na hata watu wa Sogoni wanasikia njaa kusina kila mtu. Mtu anaingia hapa anatambia anatoka bari. Hii unakaa bari inakusaidia na nini? Na tumekupea two hours. Wacha heri komondi ama tuende maandamano. Nikimalizia naongea wana wa. Nikimalizia. Nikimalizia. Leo imebaki siku saba. After siku saba. After siku saba. Hata kama ni kila siku maandamano ya kila siku. Bora tu William Samuel Ruto ameenda nyumbani. Na tuta, tutajaribu juu na chini. Ruto aende nyumbani. Na ataenda. Na si tafadhali Ruto anaenda nyumbani. Sijui atakuja na nini tena. Juzi amekuja atatuoane. Sijui na sijui Ruto atapangia nini. Sijui atapanga Museveni na kuja <laughs> akuje pia kwa president wa wili hii Kenya atujui kitu Ruto anapanga. Tumechoka. Serikali wote wajui kuvaa makoti kubwa kubwa. <laughs> so tutoke nje tutaki watu wengi. Hapa tutaki watu wengi kutoa Ruto status. Tunataka tu watu milioni moja tu peke yake. Wakukufa wakufe. Wakubaki wabaki. Bora tu Raila Amolo Odinga amekuwa president. Kama Raila alisina moyi. Raila Raila kasina kibaki. Sembuse ile msemeru Ruto. Sembuse ile msemeru. Kama uru ni alikubaki, huyu mzee amenisinda kuje tufanye kazi. Na Raila usijaribu kusalimia ile msemeru Ruto. Kama ni lazima usalimie ba ile msemeru Ruto, kuja nisalimie. Baba kuja nisalimie. Kama ni lazima usalimie ile msemeru Ruto. Serikali ya wajinga. Na unatuambia wajinga waliisa Kenya. Baka mwenye watetea na yewa chini Ulituambia mama mboga Na mama wato juo mama mboga ni musale ya mudavadi Mutu wa piki piki ni watangula Ruto hii Kenya siyo sogoi Kenya siyo sogoi Kenya siyo sogoi Unatubaba kama watoto wa sule 
Tunaenda maandamano, upende usipende tunaenda maandamano. Na tunakutoa state house. Baka wakali. Today Today I just want to be a bit moderate. Cuz uh, the way I'm seeing things going Kenya is very rotten to the core. Na Kenya imekuwa hivi juu ya serikali yenye tuko naye. Na si serikali yetu ni serikali ya watu wachache wa UDA. And today I don't want talk as a politician but I want to talk also as a pastor number one when it comes to the LGBTQ thing this thing even God himself doesn't want it and if you remember very well the story of Onan the son to Judah there was a time that it was to inherit the, 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 the wife of the brother. And then when he was in the action and realized that he was just about to release, he removed this thing, and immediately, and the person who killed him was God. Now this issue of Babanik, Ruto, trying to enforce people to have this issue of homosexual and every other thing this thing is an evil thing and I don't think whether a right man can accept to split a fellow man's buttocks as a man in your right senses accepting putting your big thing where somebody's pieces it's being removed. Even today, I was uh, actually looking for uh, at the news, and I later noticed something. Even Kim Jong talked about uh, talked about it. Nakasema kwamba he wonder how the Wazungus managed to make Africans to live their their own way of living and accept homosexual, and even refusing their own way of adapting to polygamous. This thing is actually an evil. When we come to the issue of uh, the Nyamakima traders, I want to talk about one thing. There was a time we, the people from Nyanza, when the Chinese started bringing the issues of uh, imported fees, we talked about this thing, but we were told that there is no way we can refuse when the force of demand and supply is in the country we have to respect it now we also we are saying that this is the time that when the Chinese are bringing their brass this Nyamakima traders they voted Ruto let them also respect the force of supply and demand on the other thing the issue of Matiangi we have to respect Matiang. He was once a leader and he will still continue and remain to be a leader. And if Ruto and his team is against Matiangi, why then can they put all the force that they are, do, they are putting on Matiangi to lower the standard of living in Kenya? People are suffering. And today they arrested Eric Omondi. We want to demand that they have to release Eric Omondi just as our brother Moses said. And if he is a man enough, let us wait and see tomorrow what will happen. And if it is good, we are going to start it tonight. We have to respect every man's right. And we have to accept the rights of every an individual person. Otherwise, my brother, thank you. Stupid judges, stupid judges, wasaba. Mumoja tunde alikuwa muerevu. Wakabaki wasita. Ah, wasita walikuwa wa kristo. Imagine. Sasa hii nji, hii nji, inafaa pia tuleta wa islamu kidogo. Wakue second in command. Sababu kiangalia wa kristo, wa wasaba, wa wa majaji wasita, wote ni kumbavu, wa wakua wanafikiria. Tukianza na mother kome, is a stupid woman. Anakaa tu kwa kiti, 
Alafu anatoa rurini ya ujinga bila kufikiria Atakuwa na suwari Mimi nataka kuambia Nataka kuambia wa islamu Na wa islamu ongapi wako hapa Nataka kuambia wa islamu Wa kristo They are very stupid Very stupid Mimi siku hapo ni kitoa yo ruling Mimi siyo stupid Lakini wa kristo wale walikuwa pale kwa koti Supreme court Tukianza na mother kohome Sifulomena mwilu Na ule smoking wanjala Na yo Those people are very Aki waku fikiria wa kitoa yo ruling Nini mukiangalia saa hii Hii inji nafatu badilishe katiba Hii katiba ikuwe kama ya Tanzania Mkristo akiwa ndiyo president Muislamu akwe ndiyo mudogo wake At least kama mudogo wake ngekua muislamu Hii ujinga inge fanyika Sababu hata korani iruhusu upuzi kama hiyo Na ndiyo mwona wa islamu peke yake Ndiyo meza kuandamana huko muombasa Kwa nini nyinyi wa kristo amujaandamana Si nyinyi muna support hii kitu Mina wauliza si nyinyi wote ni wa kristo Hapa nyinyi mwona kuna mkristo hameandamana Hakuna Lakini wa islamu wamejitolea na wakasema Awataki, awataki yo yo kitu kabisa Na wameandamana ya ukweli Na mimi nimekuja kuwaunga mkono Sababu, hata saa hii ukiangalia Uislamu na ukristo Uislamu ndiyo second in Kenya Alafu wa kristo wanaongoza Kwa nitu kwa tunasukuma tu wa islamu kando Wana saa hii mefika wakati Ya wa islamu pia Wakue hapo juu kidogo At least hii upuzi Yenye wale majaji wa saba wale majaji wa sita walikuwa wanatoa itaisha kama smoking wanjala amesoma hivyo aki hakufikiria hata mimi nashindwa na anaitwa wanjala muluya yani muluya mjinga kiasi gani aki smoking aki huyo jamaa huyo huyo jamaa ndiye amesoma hapo anaongeanga kizungutamu sana Yani kizungi lipotea paka katoa ruling ya ujinga kama hiyo Na huyu mama, mimi nataka kuambia huyo kohome Kohome, anakaa tu kohome Huyo mama, akili yake yuko sawa Sababu kutoka tu achukwe yu kiti pop Bizo koti sikuizi wa Kenya wana imani na yu Anaendesha, anaendesha yu koti ni kama choa anaendesha Maneno ingine nataka kuangelea ni kashagwa Unajua hui ujama, ujama, usha yona cho Cho inaingianga kila kitu, sindio? Kasha kwa kwa kama cho Kila kitu ya natoa kwa mudomo bila kufikiria Unajua kenda cho hata unanguka tu ndani Kitu inaeza anguka tu ndani Sasa kasha kwa fikiri yangi Anatoa anga tu kitu Mudomo ya kasha kwa inanukanga tu kila siku Na mina shindo wali okota wapi ule jama Sababu saa hii, saa hii nimeshukuru watu wa Mount Kenya wameanza kuamuka Muliona kikuyu mungina hapa, anachapa kashagwa Nilifurai sana Wakikuyu, nimewapongeza Tukienda hii maandamano Tafadhali nyinyi mkwe mbele, sisi tukwe nyuma Sababu Sababu amujayenda maandamano in fact Awajayenda Sisi tunataka mkue mbele mkikufa watano Sisi bado tuko hapa nyuma Tunaendelea kuwapea maji mkina Mkinawa Mimi nda wabebea maji Sababu sayu kiangalia Ati wanaandamania wapi Muchaina ati amefunga Kwaani hacha ni kuulize Wakati raira molo dinga Alikuwa na wambia Sisi Tunataka tu Tukue na makampuni zetu hapa Tutengeneze manguo zetu hapa Walituambia nini Uwezi funga mitumba Uwezi Kwani sahi ni nini nafanyika Sindio hiyo ndio wameletewa Sahi le tulikuwa tunawambia apana Wakaanza kupiga raila vita Eti raila nataka kufunga haso yao Sahi wache nuambie sahi wa Kenya Sahi ya tunge kuwa tunaimporti mitumba Sahi singe kuwa nimevaki hatu na kana muna hii Sahi nge kuwa naenda pale kwa kampuni Ninanunua kiatu Kama sahi, tungekua mimi sahi ningekua ushago Nafuka pampa yangu pole pole Ule wakupeleka kwa kampuni anapeleka Ule wakushona anashona Nini mungekua pacha karanda kwe? Si mungekua kazi Sasa sahi le tukua tunasema yoma neno Wakumbavu wengine Wanakuja kutuambia atikazi ni kazi 
Sasa si kazi ilipatikana pale kwa mchaina Anawauzia kila kitu bei ya chini Beti sahi wanaandamana Niliwambia ni ujinga walikuwa wanafanya Wanaandamania nini sisi hatuwezi wasaidia hiyo upuzi Sisi kitu tunaweza fanya ni kuandamania baba peke yake Kwanza wameletewa investor kule wapi Na hiyo moli kwa kiambu Alafu wanamupiga vita Wakue jobless wote Sababu sahi investor amekuja Kuria mtu mwenyako Sijua likanyaga shule ya wapu uyo jama Uyo jama ni bangi tuwa na Bangi ndi na mkontrol kufikiria Hakona macho ya red sijua likunyo wapu uyo Sababu investor kwa wapu Anawasaidia Ame, 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 ame create employment Kwa watu Kumbafu anakatu mahali Anaenda kuseme iti wafungo Nuangape umekua jobless hapo Kwa hiyo mall mi na juo ya mchaina Haku ajiri muluya, mjaluo ya wakabila zingine Hiyo mall ilikuwa kiambu Ilikuwa meajiri wakikuyu Haikuwa meajiri sisi Alafu muna kuja hapa sisi tuwasaidie muumanda mano Stupid We cannot help you We will not we will not help you Sisi tutenda maandamano tu ya baba peke yake Na, na imefika Bado sikunga, nisikungapi imebaki by the way Nisikusaba Na inawaomba tafadhali Tununue firimbi Iyo siku Iyo siku tukisha pata firimbi Ikifika tuyo siku tupige na tuingia kwa barabara Asante Omba yeah? Omba Oh ni minafunga Ni omba Eh? Leo mbona? Leo unajua kuomba. Unajua uomba. Mwisho anajua kuomba. Acha tu stop. Ifanye fanya practice. Wacha ni kushiki. Yaani mimi sijui mungu. Ah! Mufunike macho tuombe. Mufunike macho tuombe. Ah, sawa. Asante sana Mungu tulianza vizuri. Tukamaleza vibaya asubuhi. So Mungu miki tunakuomba siku kitu moja. Unaona tuko na maneno hapa mbele Mungu. Tunataka kuenda maandamano. Na hii maandamano tunataka tuanze vizuri na tumalize vizuri Mungu. Na mimi nakuomba Mungu kitu moja tu peke yake. Sikio wa polisi wote wagonjeke. Tufanye maandamano vizuri Mungu. So mimi mungu kilu nakuwa tu kitu moja Pera ila mulu dinga Aisi miaka mingi Lakini ulia msamwe rutu Kama ulimuake hizi miaka miya moja mungu Tafadhali Kata aisi miaka dhati Ongesera ila mulu dinga mungu Sinime nimeoma Wana Ni mambo yenye ni mbaya sana Kwa taifaletu Ni mambo yenye ni madhara Kwa miaka inakuja Na ni mambo tupai kuwa tunazungumza tukitaka kuhudhi wale wengine kwa uamuzi ya kisiasa. Mwishimua speaker, hii ni mambo watari kwa maisha ya inakuja ya kizazi yetu. Na tuspoi zungumza, tukiwa serious, itakuja kufanyika ikiwa jokes na dakia musho, itakuja mwishimua speaker, tutalazimika wakati tunachagua ofisi ya speaker kama ile wakati ulikuwa hapa ama ofisi ya bunge. Tunalazimisho kuweka ofisi ya shoga mmoja hapa. Ama msagaji mmoja hapa. Kwa hivyo mimi ni naomba tu. Tafadhali. Ni lazima tushtumu hii mambo. Kitu ya pili. Nasema hivi. Nikisema nikiwa hapa. Naomba mdu kama Sam. Na pili. Mdu kama Nick. Watu tu wako sawa kisheria. Watu saidi lilie Ni lazima Tuchukue Kama itashindikana venye serikali Imechukua tuwa ya kurudisha Ya kuambia Antoni General Arudisha imambo kama appeal Watu saidie sisi tusaidie kukollect signature To petition imambo Na tukona weshimiwa wengi Tunaweza enda kuwapata Ata Nairobi tu Tukona weshimiwa zaidi Ya kumina kitu Wenye ni marafiki wa ibunge Wenye tuneza washawishi kusukuma hii mambo. Tuneza ongea kuanzia babu wino mbaka mejadong. Tuneza ongea na mwenje mbaka Hassan. Aladwa amekua kipuja kwa ibunge. Kwa hivyo tuneza fikishia watu yujumbe. 
waipate kwa sababu ni, ni ujumbe iko na madhara Mheshimiwa speaker nimezungumza hivyo nikitaka ku protect kwanza rais kwa sababu kila mtu mwenye amelimbikizia anawekea tu kidole cha lawama kwa hii mambo ku, kwa rais wa Kenya Nataka ni kuambia kitu moja mwishimua speaker Na ufuate historia ya rais wa Kenya 205 mwishimua speaker Rais wa Kenya waliungana Na Raila Odinga Na Uru Mwigai Kenyata Kupinga katiba ya 205 Sababu yenye ilifanya katiba ya 205 ipingwe Kwa sababu mimi nilikuwa Na niliwai kufuata siyasa ya mtu moja Mzee mwenye alikuwa mbunge wa embakasi David Mwenje Wakati alikuwa nasimoma kwa jukua Alikuwa nasema na sababu tatu za kupinga katiba ya hiyo wakati Akasema kitu ya kwanza ni kwa sababu hiyo katiba inaleta majimbo Kitu ya pili ni kwa sababu hiyo katiba inaleta uhuru wa kuabudu Akasema hakuna mtu aneza kuja Kenya anatengeneza kamungu kake Tunakatu kikaabudu Mungina anenda anatengeneza kamungu kake pale chini Tunamfuata Kitu ya tatu Ni uhuru yenye mna, koti imetuambia ya usagaji na ushoga. Akasema tutafika wakati kama tutapitisha hiyo katiba. Na hiyo ilikuwa ni msemo ya wote wakiwa pia Ruto na Raila na, na Uru wakiwa. Wakisema kwamba tukikubalisha ushoga miaka inakuja hii Kenya itakuwa taifa la mashoga. Na tuwezi kubali hayo. Badae ikasonga na bahati mzuri hiyo katiba ikaanguka. Nataka tuangalie kwa sababu kwa nini tumelimbikizia tume Ruto hii mzigo yote kila mara. 2010 Ruto pia akapinga hii katiba. Lakini sababu ya Ruto kupinga hii katiba alichaguliwa na chama cha ODM kwenda Naivasha. Alipoenda Naivasha Mheshimiwa Speaker alienda Naivasha na alipoenda Naivasha alikuwa anaenda tu kama delegate wa, wa, wa ODM kutengeneza katiba. <coughs> Alipewa na fasi na... <coughs> Alipewa na fasi Ni wale wanapiga kelele Ndiyo sababu Mwishimu wa Ruto Alipewa na fasi na chama cha ODM Kuenda kusaidililia kutengeneza katiba na ivasha Alipoenda ripoti aliorudishia ODM Alisema hii katiba ni mzuri Asilimia sabini Lakini kwanza Tuwachwe turekebishe hii katiba Hiyo asilimia salasini Leo tuipitishe ODM ikamwambia Wacha Tupitishe Leo turekebishe Sasa hii ni moja Hii mambo ya enye uamuzi ya koti iliamua Ilitoka ndani ya hii katiba ya 2010 <tos> Mwishimu wa speaker Kabla tu Kabla tu ya concern Mwishimu wa speaker Koti ya upeo Ndiyo iliamua hii kesi Hii, 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 hii wa muzi Na koti ya, koti ya upeo Haiku wa kwa sababu ya mtu kufikiria kwa dhana zake Waliamua tu kwa kupitia sheria enye inawa Inawapatia nguvu Sasa Mwishimiwa speaker, mimi kitu nataka kusema Hiyo madhara imekuja tu kwa kupitia njia ya kisheria Na William Ruto alikuwa moja wa kusema turekebishe kwanza hii katiba Hizo uhuru mingi zisipewe Mwishimiwa speaker Wakati tulikuwa tunapigania demokrasia Tulikataa serikali ya kanu kwa sababu moi alikuwa ni raisa na kam falme Tukamnyanganya mamlaka mengi Mamlaka zingine tukapewa na inchi Zingine tukapewa tasisi zenye ziko uhuru Koti ni moja ya tasisi yenye ziko uhuru Yenye raisa wezi ya kaingilia Leo yu kisema raisa lienda kashawishi koti Nataka kukuuliza uhuru mwegai kenyata Alishawishi koti in nullify election yake ya 2017 Koti iliamua tu kwa uhuru wake Hata hii koti imeamua tu kwa uhuru yake Tusirileti mambo na William Ruto Kulingana na katiba ya elufu mbili na kumi Katiba ya elufu mbili na kumi The Constitution of Kenya Article 45 Is it Article 45? There is a question of family Who is king? Yes And any other person 
And I want to quote Kenya Katiba inasema. Hii Katiba ya Kenya. The family is the is the natural and fundamental unit of a society. And the and the necessary basic of social order and shall enjoy the recognition and protection of the state. Una unasikia hiyo kisungu uangwana? Na article 2 ndio wacha nisome muelewe zaidi. Every adult adult ni mtu wa 18 ikiendelea has the right to marry a person of opposite sex based on free consent of the parties Muna sikia hiyo kisungu Very good very good very good Shika hii Information very good. I, I, I'm going to respond on that. So, 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 on question of mutu kuwa wewe sasa we unanifuata we ni mwanaume ati unakatia mwanaume mwenzaku unataka kuwa it is illegal in Kenya according to Kenyan constitution and it's written there in black and white na nimewasomea hapa According to ruling ya Supreme Court, five judges ndio walika chini. Watatu wakaseme ya kwamba wakukubaliana na katiba ya Kenya, kwamba wewe kama mwanaume, na wewe kama mwanaume, amwezi ya wana. Ijapokuwa na muisome, si na wasomea, muisome njini pia mdini. Ijapokuwa, Ao watu wao watu wa kunini ku, wenye wako na hiyo mambo ingine hiyo. Hiyo mambo ya ku, ku, kutamani wanaume na weni mwanaume ama kutamani wanawake na weni wanawake. Wako na uhuru ya kutengeneza kitu inaitwa association yao. Na they can they are free to open their foundation. Kwa sababu vile walienda kwa hizo ma e, nini za serikali waliambiwa kwamba e, because why mnaulizo what is your objective ya kufungua hii kitu wao wanasema sisi tunataka dinyana wanaume kwa wanaume wao Wa, wanajibiwa kwamba hiyo ni against sheria jaji mwenye alisema hiyo kitu ilikuwa jaji joki ndumu jaji hii 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 yenye inatokanga hii hii mkamba hii Filomena Mwilu Na kulikuwa na jaji hii na hitu wanga wanjala Smoking Au mtu tatu waliamua kuamba au watu wakona uhuru Wakukapa moja na kuamua mwenendo zao Lakini hakuna sheria yeyote ama the court precedents ilisema ya kuamba Sasa wewe anza kuoa Hakuna popote Na kama hiko Mutu watanisimamisha hapa Anionyeshe Pali liandikuwa Ama hiyo judgment ilisema Sijaanza hata buwa Hata hizi vitu sijaidini Mweshimiwa Nikikumbe shika hii kwa sababu sisa discuss Mweshimiwa wacha ninini Wacha Niseme jambo jingine Mambo Yenye buwana kimu umesema hapa na watu wengine Shida yenye tukonayo hapa Kenya Ni kwamba hakuna kalcha yeyote hii Kenya Imekubalia na mambo ya usagaji Mimi ni mjaluo Kwa luga yangu Hakuna hiyo mambo kwa luga yangu Homosexual Hiyo ingine inasema aje Lesbianism Na hiyo mambo ingine A 
hakuna hiyo maneno kwa lugha yetu nikianza kuongea lugha yetu that means it's not my culture it's not coming from my society it's not coming from from my clan to say the least so this thing is something which has been imported so mtu hawezi sema ni mambo ya kupenda kwake ama ni mambo ya uh, sijui maisha ndio imefanya ati umejipata tu wewe umependanga wanaume it's not true the truth is kuna watu wamekuja na pesa hii Kenya sasa wanakuja hapo wanaangalia wanaona uko na shida kidogo kidogo unachukuliwa Unaenda kuna swabu wa matako huko nini? Hizo <laughs> <laughs> mabeze zao. Alafu unalipwa pesa kidogo. So utakuwa una swabu tu na swabu tu. Ukienda Westland utapata mwanaume amepaka hapo na sijui amevaa nini. Mwanaume unaona tu ni mtu ako na akili zake. But amevaa hizo vitu. Unapata kama wako na hiyo bandera zao. Ingine huwa naona town. So Mr. Speaker niki finalize because hujanipatia wakati ya kudiscuss hiyo kudiscuss hiyo topics hizo zingine ni kwamba these people sheria atujapata ya kuwa punish <laughs> This thing is not in penal code na I believe even the, the government even the parliament wameamua kutoweka hiyo kitu kwa penal code intentionally. Ndio maana bwana Kimu nasema au wakubwa wa bunge hawa you can write a petition to the parliament with a serious penal code. Kama mtu amepatikana maybe auawe kama ina ina hizi nini? Awawe because nini uh, hanging death, death by hanging is in our penal codes for example nataka kujibu bwana Kim nipatie dakika moja tafadhali kwa mambo mambo fulani amesema hapa bwana Ruto na Uru Kinyata tunawalaumu ukiangalia Zimbabwe na ukiangalia Uganda Zimbabwe aliyekuwa rais <coughs> Bwana Mugabe alisema kama wewe ni mwanaume na nimepata uko na uhusiano ya kimapenzi na mwanaume mwingine Mimi kazi yenye nitakupatia ni munilete mtoto yenye mmezao wawili <laughs> na nitawawachilia Na kama iko mtakufa Mugabe was clear on that Bwana Mseveni Rais wa Uganda hivi sasa na na mniku Sam kuna swali Si ni nuku huyo jamaa kwanza Uliza ba soleza Thank you Mr Speaker I just want to know according to your argument are you protecting what is your stand for Just listen Uh, what I'm what I'm saying is this. Uh, uh, what I'm asking is this. According to according to your argument, how did the court identify these people? Because according to us, what to Najua our what they exist because of their deeds. After all, they are just human beings. They, their deeds makes us, makes us to identify these people. So how did the court identify these people? <laughs> Ile kitu tunasema ni kwamba how did the court identify these people and maybe you can explain to us what association means. Thank you. Teach him. Okay, uh, thank you our member. Wewe <laughs> mtu wa kupiga kelele kuongea hapa ndani ni ngumu. Uh, thank you my, my member, our member, member of the bungi. Uh, Uganda. Na nimesikize kwa makini why I'm blaming Ruto. The president of Uganda was also categorical on that question. There is no way 
wewe kama mwanamke wewe mwanamke mwenzako ndio unatamani na mwanaume na akasema ya kwamba yeye ameweka sheria kwamba kama uwezi fuata hiyo sheria ya kuoa the opposite sex ni mambo ya kifo sio mambo ingine hii ya katikati wadi nikisikia bwana Ruto na bwana Uhuru Ruto akiwa CNN Uhuru akiongea na Obama akiwa State House hapa Nairobi A media lady alimuuliza huyu media mwenye alikwanga citizen alimuuliza mambo ya gayism alisema that is not our concern today we can discuss it later akiongelea huyu Ruto akiongea na CNN I think uh, Amarpu ndiye alikuwa na na, na muoji, alisema that is not concerned ya Kenya saa hii. Hiyo mambo tunaweza ongelea. They are giving a flood gate. Ya mambo kuongelea vile mnaongelea saa hii alafu ipitishwe. Ana msimamo ya hiyo kitu kwamba amekataa. Ameweka mguu mmoja huku kwa sababu wananchi hawaitaki, alafu mguu mmoja huku kwa sababu wazungu ndio walimuingiza kwa kiti. So bwana Ruto lazima alaumiwe kwa sababu hii kitu ikiingia Kenya. Hakuna mtu mwingine si ati atakuwa ko lucky. Maybe mtoto wake ama nini wake ama mjuku wake ndiye atakuwa kwa hizo vitu. I'm very categorical on that. On your, your response yenye hiyo umeuliza hiyo. Sasa nisijibu hiyo. Thank you. Au amekata nisijibu. Uh, I'm Mr. Mary, I'm the Bunge political commentator. I'm the only one around. So I want everybody to be keen. I'm going to address the issue of Matiangi. What we are witnessing William Ruto is doing is what is called political revenge. And we want to warn William Samuel Ruto going forward. Ruto frustrating Matiangi should not be a priority at this moment. This is the only time the cost of living is unaffordable. Most Kenyans cannot put the, put the food on the table. But Ruto is busy looking after Matiangi. And for that matter, Ruto must go. <laughs> We cannot have a country of jokers, a group of jokers put together, reasoning the way they want, reasoning through the deputy president, Mr. Gachagua. You know what Mr. Gachagua is saying? That's what the, what the government of Kenya is saying. So we are warning William Samuel Ruto. We, we told you. We have not welcomed your win. Sisi kama watu wa Raila tumesema tunangojea direction of which Raila has started giving the direction. Hata kabla sija atajatulia vizuri wewe umeanza kusumbua matiangi. You must withdraw what you are doing currently or else sisi sote tutaingia kwa barabara hivi karibuni. Mambo ya cost of living cost of living Jana ni Leona Raila alikuwa anaongea and I took a lot of time kuangalia Raila anasema nini Bwana kama ulisikia vile Raila alisema Ruto should not be in the office Ruto did not win the elections Mimi nimekasirika sana naona badala ya yeye kufanya kazi ameanza kufanya politics. Na ukiona mkikuyu ameingia kwa barabara, wewe unangojia nini? <laughs> Sisi hatutaki kujua maandamano ilikuwa juu ya nini. Sisi chenye tunaona mkikuyu ako kwa barabara. <laughs> Na kama mkikuyu ameingia kwa barabara. <laughs> Hii mtu yote bado kwa nini hawajaingia? Hiyo <laughs> inaku, inakuambia things are very bad in the country. And we want Mount Kenya when they were electing William Samuel Ruto. It was nothing less other than tribalism.
But they did not want to know who was becoming the president. So long as huyu mtu hako mjaluo, yeye akusaba. Sasa unaona wameingia kwa barabara. Na hiyo barabara itaendelea na itaendelea na hii siku kumi ikiisha. Raila alisema, we will join them there, we will replace them there. Tukiwa hapo mbele, unajua hata maandamano watu wanafanya hapa Kenya, maandamano ni maandamano yetu. Huwezi andamana properly kabla sisi hatujaingia kwa barabara. Sasa wameanza na tukifuata nyuma wanarudi nyuma sasa tunakuwa mbele. Haki ya Mungu Ruto will have to go. Ah watu wote wamekosa chakula wamekuja hapa sasa leo hii. The things are not, are not good in the country. And Ruto will have to go. And that is what Raila has told us. And Raila must be respected. Let me warn them Mr. Speaker before I sit down. <coughs> Raila Molodinga is the next president of this country. And we demand maximum respect for Raila Molodinga. We cannot have political toddlers. People who are politically redundant. Somebody like Gachak was abusing people's president. And you want the country to be peaceful. We are not going to accept na sisi sote tutatoka na wewe kama hutaingia kwa barabara wewe enda Uganda mpaka tumalizane na maandamano <laughs> This country is not country of jokers Mr Speaker That's why this day is mimi sina furaha sana nikiangalia bunge people are not discussing matters people are doing what is called political comedy People don't come here to discuss issues affecting us People come here to discuss about political comment. But at the cost of living, we are not going to accept and Ruto must go home, as Raila stated. It is nothing less, hakuna handshake, hakuna mambo ya kuongeza kitu yoyote. Within 10 days, after 10 days, Ruto will have to go, na mimi nitakikisha watu wa meenda hata kama sita enda. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Wacha na mini yombe. Baba katika jina la Yesu ninasema ni asante thank you because God without you there is none another law like you tunakataa kila madhambao ya Ruto mfalme Ruto mahali yako sasa tunajua amejificha maana maandamano inakuja tunaomba mahali yako upanga wako ukapate kumungoa kichwa huyo jamaa sisi hatumtaki kumuona sababu yeye ametuweka kwenye shida Mfalme tukienda kuandamana leo ameambia polisi wake wachukue unga yetu. Lakini mfalme hao polisi wenye walichukua hiyo unga wakipelekea watoto wao. Watoto wao wafure tumbo plus yao wakufe. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo mara hai. Ninasema ni asante maana unasaili. Tunapofunga mfalme ukapate kuwa nasi. Katika jina la Yesu naomba kuamini.